Alright guys, I'm doing a uh, close-up video here of the speed changer on the uh, 1958 DB uh, walk behind. Um, just did the 55 um, Super Deluxe, alright, and um, I decided to do one with the 58 because uh, there's no hood on it, so hopefully I can get some better uh, visual of uh, the linkage and how it's hooked up. And uh, they really are just about exactly the same. Just about exactly the same, alright, again. It's the same idea, all right? You get the handle here with the rod, all right? This is the tension rod, right? It goes down to the tranny. I'm going to do this real slow so you can see it. Pull that rod down to the tranny. All right, again, a position where you can see this. All right, it goes to this here. And on the other side of that, there's another rod. And that goes back to the front. Um, there goes up to the back side of the pulley. Again, you can see those two bolts I showed you in the other video. They loosen up to move it up and down to uh, adjust the tension and also remove it, of course. But um, it's a pretty simple system. Um, it's not much really, uh, there's no maintenance on it except the uh, little WB40 and greasing, you know, just to make sure it keeps moving properly. All right. But uh, there's not much to it. Okay, um, when I plowed the garden this year with this tractor, I just kept it at the full tension. See how tight that belt is? And uh, that's all I did. I kept that at full tension, and uh, I just controlled the tractor with the throttle. Um, uh, again, like I mentioned in the other video, I'm not a very big fan of these um, speed changes. But uh, that's just my opinion, okay? Um, so again, it's a two belt system. Right, belt from the tranny, and then the belt from the speed change it to the motor. Okay, whereas the other ones only has one belt. So it's really uh, the exact same setup, different size belt. You can see this belt much wider. I don't know the exact size off the top of my head. Um, but um, again, I thought maybe this tractor I'd get a better visual for you, and you can see better exactly what the linkage is. I think this is all just held together basically with uh, cotter pins. One cotter pin on the back of here, you can see. And then on the downside, there's another one. This is the rod right here that goes up to the to the handle. Okay. And then a shorter rod that goes over to the other lever. So you're basically talking about uh, two cotter pins, three cotter pins, and then up to the handle. So uh, it's not that complicated really, um, but again, like I mentioned in the other video, if you're missing a part or the wrong part has been thrown on, something has been Rube Goldberg together, uh, it's easy to, uh, to not understand or not be able to see what has to be done. So uh, I'm hoping this video helps you out. Between the two of them, uh, just going out to my friend Duke. Between the two of them, Duke, I hope uh, hope this uh, straightens you out and gets you in order. But um, I tell you right now with that speed changer, um, don't go crazy with it. Uh, I would use this tractor all the time with that speed changer fully engaged. That's just my opinion, that's all. I'm sure a lot of guys out there, you know, jump below me about that, but um, I've been uh, messing with these DBs for uh, a little while, okay? So uh, I think I might have a slight idea how they work. So, all right guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, Duke, I hope these two videos help you out. Anything else you need, just give me a shout. I'd be glad to help you out. For, and uh, anybody else out there needs a close-up video of anything at all DB related, if I could possibly help you out, just give me a shout. All right, guys, that'll be it. Welcome, Daniel.